So lately, everyone in the AI industry has been talking about DeepSeek R1. And quite frankly, everyone just around the world in the mainstream media and everywhere has been talking about DeepSeek R1 because it is completely changing the game when it comes to AI, open source AI, as well as China versus US in the AI race. Now, I've made a few videos on DeepSeek in the last couple days, DeepSeek R1, how to use it through the API and tools like Cursor, N8N, use it with Grok, because many different providers are coming out with DeepSeek right now. And a lot of people are saying, oh my God, China is really taking a, a big leap here especially with open source. Now, I definitely wouldn't count USA or OpenAI or whoever out of the race by any means. And, you know, we haven't seen at all what, you know, some of these companies have behind the scenes. So it will be really interesting to see what is up next. But DeepSeek is still going. They recently just dropped another open source AI model called Janus Pro 7B, and it's a multimodal model that can generate images and apparently beats OpenAI's DALI 3 Stable Diffusion, Gen Eval, and, and DPG Bench benchmarks. What's also crazy is DeepSeek R1 just got a two times speed boost. And guess what? The boost was written with DeepSeek R1 itself. So it's already self improving. So self improving AI is here. We're really going to see more of that coming soon. And it's not a matter of time before we get into that reflexive cycle where we completely remove human in the loop and it's going to get crazy. But DeepSeek is not the only Chinese company that is pumping out AI updates. Quen, which is a model owned by the company Alibaba, just released their Quen 2.5 Max version and the benchmarks are quite impressive. As you can see, Quen 2.5 Max is beating DeepSeek V3, which is the model that DeepSeek released before their reasoning model on many different benchmarks across the board, as you can see here. And it's even beating models like Claude Sonnet 3.5, GPT-40, Llama 3.1. Now, like I've always said on this channel, benchmarks are definitely not everything. And it always comes down to actually testing it because you can't just always trust benchmarks, especially when the company rating the model is the one putting out these benchmark tests. But that's why in today's video, we are going to run some tests with Quen 2.5 Max, Alibaba's newest model. I'm going to show you how you can use this open source model 100% for free. Now, you'll be able to use this either in their cloud version or in their API. And I'm even going to show you how you can connect it to tools like N8N. So if you do want to use Quen 2.5 Max and an N8N AI agent, you can definitely do that. So without ado, let's dive right in. Now, all links I cover in today's video will be linked down below. As you can see, Quen also released 2.5 Vision. So there's different parameter models right here, like 3B, 7B, 72B. And if you want, you can check out their blog down below on their Vision language model. And you can see a comparison between benchmarks between some of the models like Gemini 2 Flash, GPT-40, Blood Sonnet 3.5, Quen 2, and they also released Quen 2.5 1M, so deploy your own Quen with contacts up to 1 million tokens. And then they go on talking about long context tasks versus short context tasks. Like I said, all links will be down below if you want to check more of that out, but we're going to focus on the 2.5 Max right now. So there's a few ways you can use it. Like I said, Quen Chat, the API, or the demo. So the demo is here within Hugging Face. You go ahead, test this out if you want. I'm just going to use their actual chat right here. Now you'll see their interface is similar to really any chat model, whether that's ChatGPT or DeepSeek. You can see that we have a few different toggles here, which is nice. So we can actually toggle on artifacts. We can toggle on web search, image generation right here. You could select the different sizes right there. You could even do video generation, which is pretty cool. Now you can't have web search or artifacts toggle on at the same time. And just as a side note, you can upload a document or attach an image if the model supports it. So I'm going to go ahead and say code a beautiful modern website for an e-com beauty store with Quen 2.5 Max. And let's go ahead and send this. Okay. And you can see it is generating the HTML right here. Now, while this is loading, just a couple more tweets I've seen on Quen 2.5. We can see the VL version right here can perform computer use out of the box, taking on OpenAI's operator head on. As you can see, it's being used right here with computer use. Quen 
Max is giving out red envelopes. I'm incredibly powerful. Search. Great. Coding. Classic strawberry puzzle. Game. Let's play the game. Game over. Prosperous New Year. May your life be filled with joy. Just this. Of course not. See you. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at our Ecom Beauty Store. And boom, voila, we got a, you know, a beauty store here. Obviously, it's not that great out of box, but... You know it did succeed with the task here as, as you can see the artifact right here is pretty nice within their actual cloud version and we can also use the web search so how does deep seek v3 compare to quen 2.5 max and boom as you can see we got our search results right here for the sources and you can see that it's saying that you know it has been reported to outperform deep seek v3 and several benchmarks now, it would be really interesting if Quen dropped a reasoning model themselves. I think that would be really cool because if you've been following this channel for a while, we've actually done many different videos on Quen and DeepSeek. We've done comparison videos in the past months ago. As you can see, we did a video on Quen 2.5, 32B here. Another video on Quen 2.5, four months ago. DeepSeek 2.5 right here. And these two open source models and companies from China have always kind of been somewhat neck and neck. So it will be very interesting if they do drop a reasoning model. Now, the one negative with Quen 2.5 Max is they haven't dropped the weights. I've heard people say they typically don't drop the max weights for the model. But if you want to actually use this through the API and use this in something like maybe NAN to use with an agent, you can go ahead to this article and I'll also leave the direct link down below and click on API. Now this is going to take you to Alibaba Cloud and you're going to go ahead and create an account. This is of course if you don't mind creating an account with a Chinese company. Now once you create an account they're going to ask you to verify your phone number and you have to add your credit card as well. So it's not the easiest AI API to get started with. But if you decide to do that you can go ahead directly to this link. I'll leave it in the description down below. And then once you have your account created just click on Quen on Model Studio. Once you do that, it will take you to the model studio and you'll be able to see all the different models right here. There's plugin galleries right here with calculator, Python code interpreter, image generation. You can create applications right here. There's application components like prompt engineering, custom plugins, data management, data application. So pretty cool, but we're going to go to the model section right here and we're going to click on Quen Max. Now we're actually going to go to the API example. And you're going to see we got an open AI base URL right here. We're going to actually copy this base URL. And we're going to go over to N8N and we're actually just going to create an AI agent. So you can simply go up here, create an agent, and you're going to add a chat model. You're going to go down here to open AI and you're going to add a new connection by going here, create new credentials. Within these credentials, you're going to paste in that base URL right here. Then you're going to go back and you're going to click up here and go to API keys. Once you do that, create an API key, click on view, copy that API key, and then paste it right here, click on save, and then you'll be connected. Now I'll also leave the pricing right here. As you can see, we got a limited time free for some of the models like the VL and the VL Max and the embedding. Uh, Quen Turbo right here, we have price per thousand tokens. Quen Plus right here and Quen Max, we got... 0.01 cents per input and 0.03 cents per output so very very cheap and if you sign up at least right now they gifted you a uh, beginners 1 million free inference tokens for each model up to 50 million tokens free valid for 180 days so i did get that bonus now if we go ahead and test this model saying hey 
hey what model is this exactly is this quen 2.5 max as you can see it said it's quen from alibaba and it says yes i'm the latest version quen max now one thing i forgot to mention is once you actually make that connection you're going to want to go ahead and click on expression over here in the model it's going to be on fixed you don't want to use that for a drop down and you're simply going to want to come back to the model copy this model id right here and paste that bad boy in all right guys so that's pretty much it for this video on quen 2.5 max how you can use it right now in their cloud version or in the api how you could even use it within nan to build ai agents and a brief overview of some of the benchmark comparisons between DeepSeek 3 and Quen 2.5 Max. So like I said, China is really on a roll. It will be interesting to see how the US fires back with their new AI developments. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about Quen, what you think about DeepSeek, DeepSeek R1, DeepSeek V3. What does all this mean for the AI community, for the open source community? And other than that, guys, if you're new to this channel, we upload videos on the time on AI, marketing, sales, business growth. So if you like that type of content, you got some value here, make sure to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to stay up to date with the uploads. Also, too, guys, if you haven't already joined our free Facebook group and Discord channel, I'll leave a link down below, stridecommunity.com. And then also, too, guys, if you haven't already joined our Stride AI Academy, definitely check that out while it is still free. Also, too, guys, if you run a business and you need help implementing AI agents like AI appointment setters, AI call center, or optimizing your systems, your CRM, your marketing, whatever the case may be, then book a call down below at executivestride.com forward slash apply and we can see if it's a fit or not to work together. Other than that, guys, I will see you in the next video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.